Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, uh, this is going to be just a quick time lapse of creating an alien creature in ZBrush. So I made this as a step by step tutorial for my member section. If you're interested, uh, check it out. There's going to be a link below this video. But usually what I do is I always start with a sphere. In this case, this is just a 128 Dynamesh. Once I um, brought it into the viewport, I added a couple spheres to be uh, used as um, as the eyeballs, like the sight eyeballs. And in this case, it was kind of just concepting and freestyling. And the couple ideas that I had is just going for like an alien insect of some sort. So just kind of experimenting uh, with shapes and just trying to see what works and what doesn't. So in this case, you could see me adding a little bit of a folding effect. And then for the mouth, I actually added another sphere instead of extracting it from the existing one and just kind of sculpted it roughly into what I wanted that to look like. And some of this uh, inspiration did come from looking at creatures uh, like creature box. Uh, to create a tooth, I just brought in a box and uh, just kind of uh, subdivided it, then turned it into Dynamash and uh, added a little bit of a chip on the tooth just using the uh, cutting tools. And then I wanted to add some additional teeth, but instead of uh, inserting more shapes, I just used the existing tooth and just kind of customized it. Uh, here you can see me bring in another sphere and then using Sculptures Pro to extend uh, something that looks like an, you know, some kind of an alien antenna of some sort. So it's a lot of fun to just come up with uh, different shapes and concepts and uh, it's very easy in ZBrush to experiment, right? So in this case, you can see me creating one and then mirroring it to the other side. Uh, initially, I created this design that looks almost like little eyes on top. And once I added uh, pupils to my actual eyeballs, I realized that that was competing uh, with the shape below. So I actually ended up using a different uh, drag um, alpha for that, right? Just so it doesn't compete uh, with the eyeballs. Uh, here you can see me add just a little bit of a detail. This is just the default stamp uh, alphas that are in ZBrush by default. Uh, that was a lot of fun. To create the body, I just insert, uh, inserted another sphere, just like I did with the antenna, just kind of dragged the neck up. Um, here you see me using Z spheres. I love using Z spheres for base meshes. That's a very powerful technique and workflow. And you can uh, very quickly create base meshes uh, using Z spheres. So in this case, I created uh, the leg and then uh, turned it into adaptive skin or sculptable mesh. Um, and then uh, moved uh, to creating the nails by just continuously sculpting, rotating, adjusting, and just keeping this kind of a playful, um, all of these playful shapes in mind. Once I created one foot, I realized that it was kind of crossing the uh, center line there. So I, um, I had to rotate it, move it, across, uh, move it over, and then create another one. A uh, little more adjustments and then once I did all of that, the final one that was super important was um, here you see me adding little folds. But um, to create the uh, hands or the arms, I decided to use these spheres as well. So creating legs and uh, quick concepting arms is just so easy and uh, really powerful. So you can see me just literally just inserting a few spheres, dragging them around. Uh, turning them into something that looks like a hand and then once again flipping it to uh, sculptable mesh and in a matter of you know pretty much minutes you have something pretty complex and very uh, awesome to use to uh, add more and more detail. Alright here you can see me add just a few more uh, folds, the little details, uh, just kind of having fun and I'm trying to uh, stay away from adding too much detail because he is sort of uh, kind of a simplified character. But just uh, a few more alphas as the skin detail. And then finally, I moved uh, on to painting, poly painting. Um, love poly painting in ZBrush. I think it's so uh, powerful and really does feel like actual painting. Like you can play with masks, you can play with uh, gradients, and it's just so simple and easy. So you can see me here just experimenting and figuring out what colors do I like, what works, what doesn't. So I just went with like orange eyes and purple skin. Um, you know, something that looks uh, more exotic than if it was like, you know, something a little more na uh, neutral. So in this case, you can see me uh, 
just adding more and more uh, gradients and uh, again just poly painting. So I hope you enjoy watching this quick time lapse. If you like create, creating uh, cartoon characters, consider joining my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.